It's been about eight months. I think I scrammed on the 9th of December last year. I had a mild idea of what it was all about. I don't think anybody will understand until they actually put in the situation. One of the biggest things I've learned is how much I can cope with, how far I can push myself, how little sleep I can cope with. At the end of the day, people don't want to deal with the title. They don't want to deal with Miss South Africa as such. They want to deal with a human being. For me, that's been the biggest thing to actually realize that this year is just it's such a short-lived year. And next year, all I really have left is myself. It's not a title anymore. So it's been quite interesting to come to terms with that and realize you really have to think ahead than just winning Miss South Africa. There's been so many highs and lows. It's like any job, to be honest. Everybody thinks it's very glamorous, but it really is hard work. I think meeting Nelson Mandela was a definite highlight, meeting Tabo and Becky, um, Donald Trump. You get to meet so many influential people, which is great. It's like 25 years in one year. You, your schedule is so hectic, and you're meeting so many different people from around the world. I get to travel internationally, which is a great experience as well. It's not all about the high heels and the dresses and the makeup. And one of the things I've always said is that it doesn't matter whether you're meeting a celebrity or you're meeting somebody dying with AIDS, they're both going to impact upon your life. And um, it's been such a humbling experience for me to come in as Miss South Africa and work with people like this and get the opportunity to work with people who are dying of AIDS. And those moments have actually stood out to me far more than the moments that I had at Miss Universe or the moments being crowned as Miss South Africa, you know, it's those little things that actually bring you to your knees and humble you, which I think is always good for everybody.